Okay, so resurrection uh, part three. While I wait the connectors for the uh, the headlights we discussed there in the last episode. Uh, just carrying on with the front brakes here. Everything's coming apart nicely. Uh, the caliper. Son of a bitch, the boot is split. So, that's fine. I kind of expected that. This car is 13 years old now. Heading, heading towards 14. So, uh, part number for the pins, front brakes, pin kit, Carlson. I got the Rebestus caliper rebuild kit. There's the part number. Again, this is for the front, of course. It's a 2007 model. Uh, I can't say for sure they're all the same, but certainly there's a bracket in use that are the same, but I don't know. I don't know. Staying. I don't know for a fact. Um, Oh, made in China, unbelievable. So, here's the rebuild kit. It comes with a boot, the, the piston seal, obviously, and I guess that's just the, the little cover for the bleeder. There's no copper washers for the line. Why would they do that? If you're going to rebuild the caliper, you're going to take it off the car, no? Shit. No. Uh. There's always something though. And digging through my rubbish bin here with odd bits and pieces that I've bought over the years and never used. One time I bought a caliper and all I used was the frame. I never used the caliper. So I had two seals. Brand new. Hmm. Guess I have to take it off now. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to apply the logic that I'll give it a shot. If I can get it rebuilt and I'm happy with it, great. If it goes sideways, I'll buy a new caliper. Right, I've already committed to the rebuild kit anyway, so what the hell is the difference? Uh, I have a few of these at the ready, boys. So when you take the line off, you can uh, plug the uh, caliper line and minimize the fluid loss. Of course, those are rubber. You don't want to keep them in contact with brake fluid for too, too long. Otherwise, it's going to be grief. Um, it looks like the seals. Uh, do in fact fit my banjo bolt so nice so far so good I don't want to get ahead of myself first things first if I can't get this bleeder off without shearing it it's a non-starter right so I had my impact on the lowest setting and uh, I had it with some penetrating oil of course um, and it budged if it doesn't budge then you're gonna have to resort to some heat which shouldn't be an issue because I'm changing all the rubber parts inside the, the caliper anyway right so uh, I got lucky and it looks like the bleeder is uh, happy to come out. I've sheared many, many of these over the years, uh, boys, so uh, I'm happy to say this one was an exception. It doesn't look like it's bled much fluid in a long time, if ever. Well, must have at some point, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I will try and pop the, uh, uh, I'll use the, you know, the standard approach to try and pop the piston with uh, my, my air, the compressor. And the nozzle, of course. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll film you. I'll I'll film it from afar. Hopefully, I don't jam my finger and make myself look foolish. Well, that sounds good. That's good. So far, so good. Yeah. Yes. Make sure you've got your safety specs in though. There'll be some residual uh, brake fluid, which is likely gonna be uncomfortable in the eyes, I would think. The piston itself actually looks, from this angle anyway, I haven't turned it around, of course, but looks pretty good. Other than the beyond the seal, which is neither here nor there. You see that, boys? Yes, I'm happy with that. I can. Doesn't look too bad at all. Just a preliminary cleanup. Clean it a wee bit further, of course. Uh, looks good. Let's see if we can get that seal out. The camera in situ, I'm not sure. Mm. 
There we go. Piece of piss. I've got the boot off. Dust seal boot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll compare the seals, of course, make sure they're all the same. Uh, I'm not happy with that. That looks like it needs cleaned up, definitely. That could be a potential issue. Put it against, pressurize it. Slowly let it come to the back side of the caliper. That's what you want. Keep just enough pressure on it to keep it inflated, but not enough to blow it. Tricky. That's it, it's seated. Keep some pressure on it and then push against the caliper, the, the piston. Twist it as you release the pressure. And I'll see. Okay, so there's the uh, caliper all back together. I'm pretty happy with that, boys. I uh, think it should be okay. Uh, piston's all back in. You see the piston was in good shape. The, the seal, uh, the piston seal and the dust boot are all in position now. Tricky to get that in position, I'll tell you. Very tricky indeed. There's a couple of different techniques. Uh, that's just one I kind of stumbled across as I was getting frustrated. But uh, it's obviously a hazard to your fingers. Be very, very careful if you're going to use that technique. Uh, yeah, the seals should be okay. Uh, I'll carry on with the build. It's getting late. I'll uh, carry on with the build tomorrow. And uh, I guess this is long enough for one video anyway. So that's it, boys. Uh, yeah, lots of mess. I think I've mentioned before, I absolutely hate doing breaks. Uh, cannot stand doing breaks. Um, yeah, uh, I'm all about being honest. Uh, it's a good thing I bought two seal kits because I actually bitched this one seal. And exasperation and frustration trying to get it yeah you can see there I damaged that one using a brute force and no uh, <laughs> you cannot use brute force on these things if, it's, if, you, if you're not using some finesse you're not doing it right uh yeah so that's it i'll call it a night uh that's long enough boys right that's it cheers